It's a creepy boy. How dare you. Stay off my wall. 360 no scope. Hey guys, it's Wolf with Valhalla Gaming and we are back in Minecraft. Specifically, Hardcore Minecraft. Which means if we die, we die. And it is day 40. We are almost halfway done with the 100 days challenge. And somehow I'm still alive. I don't know how. But we're gonna sleep. I don't want to go outside. We have so many doge. Look at all the doges. I don't know what to name them all. Scoot over doge. It's bedtime. A new Optifine version is available. I've also been told not to go into the nether with uh, this version while well, playing on Optifine. I guess like there's a glitch or something and something's... I don't know. It's easy to die, apparently. So uh, we're not going to do that. Oh no. My phone was being very loud. I apologize. No creeper boys? Oh, there's creeper boys. Let's not go that way. And I think today's goal is... Ow. Um, we made a lot of books last time. I think I want to expand and maybe get our first villager hut. Yeah, I like that idea. We can let our fields grow a little bit. Actually, our potatoes are definitely all grown. How's our farm? How is our farm? Hello, animals. So many sheepies. Only one pig, though. Do I still have a lead? I could probably get that other pig. I don't know where my lead is. It's probably... Ooh, that's the wrong button. I forgot my controls. Shift is crouch, ow. And this is run. Okay. Let's go see if I can find my lead. Hmm. Interesting. Is it in my personal chest over here, maybe? It is not. My one extra diamond is, though, lead. Why don't I have a lead anymore? Oh, well. I guess there's no getting that piggy until I can find some other stuff. Also really need to finish my enchanting room, so that's a, definitely a goal. So let us continue the shenanigans. Also, it means we're going to have to kidnap some villagers from that village over there eventually. Alright, so if I'm expanding, then I'm definitely going to need to make some more walls. So let's see, if I'm going to make some more walls, I should probably make the area at least already kind of presentable. Ow, stop it, you stupid thingy. I guess it should just be a flat line going this way, maybe? I could make a shovel and just kind of have it coming all the way out into the ocean here. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I also need wood. I need a lot of wood. So enjoy this time lapse of me chopping down trees.
Alright guys, we're back. Cut down some trees and we dug some dirt. I know. Not very eventful, but it started getting dark outside. Now I'm starting to get spooked. So we're gonna get some... How much coal do we have? Ooh, we have enough. Um, since this is gonna be the city portion, I think we're gonna use some stone bricks to start building these uh, walls for this next area. And eventually we'll upgrade all these to stone bricks as well but for now that's all we can really do I don't have anything for over here I guess I could start adding my next section of the house what is it I forget how big they are is it five yeah so one two and three four and five and technically six because this is where the stairs go since we finished this section it's time to start the next one and we have nothing better to do at night. Except mine. I guess that's why they call it Minecraft, right? And you call that a mine. We should probably also try and get some diamonds, especially if we're going to be attempting another run anytime soon. Which I don't really foresee in my future, to be honest. At least not in this uh, episode, due to the... Uh, violent nature of Optifine reacting with some of the newer stuff. And this pickaxe is about to break. There we go. Time for bed yet? It is! Which means we are now officially on day 42. Is it 42? It is 42. Ah yes, my armor from the very beginning of the game. So now, these are still cooking. So what? How do I turn these into... I go over here and use this? Ooh, I do. That seems very inefficient. Is there a faster way to do that? I don't think there is. Can I turn? Four of those turn into four of these. So that's a decent ratio. But you need... Okay, so how many does... Yeah, but how many does this make? Six. So it is, it's an equal ratio if I do it either way. So I can come over here and just save the extra step, right? Okay. That makes sense. Kind of. So let's go put down our new walls that we're going to be putting down. And our new area that we're going to make. All nice and secure for our new place. Um, probably put some dirt down right here, push this out by one, put that back over here, like so. And now we're gonna build our next area, I suppose. Um, it's probably gonna be over here, honestly, for the next area. I want to knock all this area down and extend everything. Which means we're going to have all the dirt we need to do any other projects as well. So that's good, at least. We can start just, like, capping off over here, I suppose. Probably about right here. Then we can build a dock and go into the water, and it'll be so pretty. I'm kidding. Maybe? I don't know. It might look good. Might not look good, also. I'm not a very good builder, so you never know what's going to happen in Minecraft. All I know is that if you enjoy Minecraft, and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. Maybe like the video, but definitely subscribe. <laughs> every little bit counts, and everyone on the channel by now knows that if we hit 1,000, we get to smack Scully. Sully. Ooh. My English is not where it needs to be. But yeah, so let's see if we can't get to 1k before the end of this year and maybe smack Sully. It is a new year, so. To be fair, though, I have been gone for a while, and I apologize for that. Um, I explain a little bit more of why I was gone for two or three weeks in the werewolf video on Wednesday that'll be out. So yeah, if you care... Or curious. There's there's an explanation in that video for why I was gone for so long. And I'm not going to put it in this one. 
just because I don't see the point in double tapping the same subject. Though mental health is a very important subject to me, and I think everybody should be taking care of their mental health, but that's for another day and not for Minecraft, because Minecraft is just such a lighthearted game. I just kind of want to play it and chill and not stress. Even though it's hardcore, it's not very stressful. Especially not once you get the game figured out. There was a few moments here and there where I thought I was going to die, and it's just not worth the stress. Life isn't worth the stress, guys. You only get one mind. Take care of it. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled... Ow! Rude. Also, I'm still upset that Raven knew the entire time that I could just pick the berries instead of breaking the bush. And she never told me. She never told me. The betrayal. Can you believe that? She knew the entire time. Watched every one of my Minecraft videos. Knew that you could break those and never told me. She's an awful person. Awful person. Ooh, this area is going to look so pretty. And now we got some more dark oak over there. I think the dark oak style is what we're going to go with for all of this. I'd really love to make that farm somehow red. I don't know. I think of farms. I think red. Acacia. Not acacia. Is it acacia? Acacia is the red when you strip it, right? I think acacia is red when you strip it in Minecraft. I don't remember. Oh, well. At least we're back down to this level, finally. Which means the mining, or the digging, is kind of done. We'll have plenty of dirt for all of our adventures. See? All the dirt we need. And then we'll kind of smooth the terrain out a little bit. Make it look like it was meant to be that way. Instead of just such a steep embankment off the side. Also curious what we should name our little town that we're going to be working on here. If you have any ideas for what to name our town, let me know. There's a town off in the distance. Probably name that one, too. We're just going to name all the towns. And then maybe, if this does good enough, I'll make the world download available. And y'all can play on my world eventually. But that's after I beat the game. Because I don't want y'all to ruin anything for me. I know how you people are. You like to ruin things. Just see the joy sucked out of people's lives. That's why you enjoy watching me almost die over and over again. <laughs> oh no. My shovel's gonna break. Did I make a third one? I think I only made two. Front row raggy. Oh well, we're almost done with this part anyway. It's gotta be brought back by like one more. Yep, there we go. This is gonna suck. I hate doing stuff by hand in this game. We have tools. Use them. But we're almost done anyway, so I don't really care too much. I kind of care that this part isn't brought back one. But I'm just going to fix it. I've got nothing better to do. What should be the 100 day challenge? What do y'all think? Should I try and fight the Ender Dragon by 100 days? Because if that's the goal, then I probably should not be spending my time trying to terraform with my fist. Should probably be down in the mines gathering more diamonds and some more experience and enchanting tools and I'm gonna have to make an anvil. Oh no. An anvil is a lot of iron. I think it's like three iron blocks. Oh boy. All right so let's add our expansion here. This is the farm area, so now we're going to officially have the next area. Oop. Don't want to miss anywhere. And then this area is going to go all the way down to right here. And then wrap all the way around. <clears throat> hey, it's a llama. You know it would be really cool if that hole over there was actually an ender portal. Or not an ender portal, but a uh, nether portal. Just in the mountain. I think that might be a goal for later on in the game. Do some really neat looking ender portal. Or nether portals. Oop. Let's put you back here and... Uh, stop.
start harvesting some of our sugar cane here, shall we? Ow. These frickin' berries. Such a good idea to have them as a natural form of defense, my butt. The only thing they've defended is me. <laughs> and they try and kill me every time I'm here. Ugh. No gratitude. Ever. Never any gratitude around these parts. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Alright, let's see. Um, paper? Paper. Book. Oh, I need leather to make a book, don't I? I don't have any leather. I do not have any leather. I need one leather per book. Erg. Okay. Well, we're just going to add that to our miscellaneous chest for now, I suppose. Take that. We have so much randomness in here. We have everything. That, God. I need a storage facility and a storage room. That's what's going next in this area is a big storage room, but I'm not using my diamond pickaxe to build. Not until I can enchant it with something decent. Efficiency one, efficiency one, efficiency one. Garbage. We need more books. So let's... Oh, I've got my iron in here. Didn't I look for that earlier? We're going to put that iron back in here. All of our iron goes in here. There we go. Spruce trees, don't care about. Sticks, I kind of care about. Let me make another... Uh, why do I do this to myself? I'm going to make another iron pickaxe. We're going to put all the dirt away. Make another iron pickaxe. And... Voila. There we go. And now we can come back here and we're just going to... Start chiseling away at this area. Oh, there's some coal in here, too. What do you know? And then we can just start building a storage room inside of here, probably. Like, once it's kind of mined out, you know what I mean? I had to go with such an intricate design, didn't I? Couldn't have just built a square in the mountain. No, I had to attempt a circle in the mountain, because I'm fancy. Oh, yep, there we go. Getting some coal. That's very nice. Now we have to knock that back. Knock all these back. At least we're getting something out of this. That's what matters. Some experience points. Maybe that's what matters. The real stonks is the experience points that you get along the way. I almost smacked my own dog right there. That's animal abuse. That's a felony. They dogs are trying to make me a felon. How dare they. Is it because I don't bring you enough treats? Is that what it is, dogs? You just want more treats. Selfish. So selfish. I really want to get like a super advanced like auto sorter one day. Maybe once I'm better at the game and I've survived more than 40 days in hardcore in my little mansion here. I can't even call this a mansion. It's like four rooms. Well, it's two rooms and a hallway, to be fair. Is it two? Yeah, it's just two rooms and a hallway right now. <laughs> it's about to be four rooms and a hallway. It's a very Hobbit Hole-esque house. But we can smelt all of this cobblestone, at least, and turn it into the walls for outside. We've got that going for us. No diamonds in here, though. I don't know. Should I build... Uh, I kind of want to build a mine that's going to be connected to this, too. If that makes sense. Just build a mine that comes out of the house, and you can kind of seal it off if you need to, in case it gets a little too dicey in there. That'd be nice. Okay, cool. We're going to take this extra coal, put it in here, and then we're going to start smelting some more of these, and we're just going to come over here, and we're going to do that, we're just going to do that, and we have 54. 
Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here and do that and do that and do that and voila, we have 108, I think. My math is way off, probably. Excuse me. And we're just going to grab some more cobble. Do that. And we're just going to, we're going to work through the night a little bit here, as much as I don't like it. Uh, we have a flower. We have some more saplings. Plenty of cobble. Um, no need for... Oh, we have two extra stone bricks. Can I... There we go. Cool. Um, extra iron. We'll put the paper with the iron over here for now. There we go. Actually, how much iron am I going to need to make an anvil, I wonder? Because I can put an anvil in here and use it at the same time, can't I? Anvil. How do I make an anvil? I'm pretty sure it's three iron blocks, though. And then... I don't know where the rest of it is. Oh no, how do I make an anvil? Quick, to Google. If my phone would unlock. How does I make anvil? How does I make anvil? Three blocks of iron, four iron ingots. Hey, there we go. Anvil. Cool. Now we can put that in our enchantment room. And it will help us whenever we accidentally enchant something we don't mean to. Perfect. We also need a lot more books. Problems for another day. We're going to get that enchantment next episode sometime. Oh god, we use so much iron for that. Ew, that's kind of disheartening. Um, to this, we need dirt and dirt and andesite. And this stays with us and this stays with us and dirt and andesite. Oh, that's granite. Ew. And we can take the composter out of there. Food. Yeah, that's kind of food. Raw beef could probably be cooked. Just gonna put it in here for now. We got a carved pumpkin, some raw salmon, an arrow, some steaks, a book, seeds. We can just turn the seeds into bone meal. Put the dye in here. No, it's not even a plant though. Put the dye in here for now. Okay, so that's going good for us. We're gonna go to bed. It's sleepy time, and I'm gonna take a drink. Feels so good to be alive. Day 43. Only, that's not supposed to go there. Only um, seven days until we're halfway there. Why is there a zombie just chilling out over there? Ow. What kind of wizardry is that? Let's go put our other composter over here. So I also figured out I could put a chest and a hopper and then a composter and it would auto make stuff, essentially. Or a dispenser or something. I'm not sure how it works. I have to look more into it. But regardless, we have more walls to add. And I need to eat some steaky steak. Yes. Nom. And we're just going to use our iron axe for now. I like my other axe, but it's just not practical. I don't have enough diamonds yet to be just solely relying on my diamond tools. My armor, that's one thing. Oh, that's a creepy boy. I don't like creepy boys. Oop. Who dare? Who dare? Die. It's a creepy boy. How dare you? Stay off my wall. 360 no scope. Give me your stuff. I need explosives. Wee! Yay. Wait. 
got the stuffs. And then you just jump back over the wall. I'm so glad that creepers and stuff can't run and jump like I can. Where's the border going to be at? Right here? Cool. And they say walls don't mean security. There we go. We just keep coming along nicely over here. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Then we kind of come out into this area over here. Actually, it'd be kind of nice if we enclosed this area and made a pond out of it, but I'm not going to bother with that. I don't have enough dirt on me currently. Oop. That's not supposed to be there. Doop de doop de doo. Alright. Then we hang a left right here. I really need to stop doing that. And we can just kind of do this. For now. And then from right here, we're going to get rid of some of these cherries or wild berries or whatever the heck they are. And we're going to do this. There we go. Eh, we still have 13. We can still go out this way a little bit, I guess. Let's do that, and then that, and then we come over here. Oop, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. I put the wrong block down. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Okay, we're going to expand this area and kind of encompass this little area as well. So let's knock all these down and see how much we can get. And finish this, and then we can just go grab the rest of them. Then we're going to put a bunch of torches down, and then we're going to knock down the walls on the inside, and it's going to be a real fun time, guys. Then we get to actually start deciding, designing, deciding, I can't English, designing our new area. There we go. We just keep coming over here, like so, like so. Like so. And that's it. Okay, so that's as far as we made it on that. But we can just kind of knock these down and start up the... Uh... We're going to have to knock all this stuff down anyway. So we're going to make another iron pickaxe. There's a zombie in my house. You home wrecker. Why did I hear two of you? That's it. Come outside. How did you get in my house? Who allowed them in my house? Where did they come from? Blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. Worst guard dogs ever. I was going to name one of you Cerberus, but clearly you don't deserve that name. Okay. Now, uh, I was coming over here because I need these, yes. So I can make a lot more of these. Yes. Okay. Now that we have a lot more of these, I'm also going to make a new iron pickaxe, which means I need some of my iron, which is becoming a commodity. I need, uh, do I have sticks in here? Nope, but I got some plank. Oh, I already have sticks. I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to go mining very soon and get some more iron. I'm using way too many resources for some of this shenanigans. Would also love to have some diamond armor while I'm at it. Some more diamond armor, I guess. I've only got chest and legs. So if I could at least get some boots on, that'd be real nice. 
but I need to go mining, but I want to work on all this stuff, so it's such a hard choice. Ugh. And I'm also half tempted to download the mod where it shows you where the little lights are so you know where things are going to spawn in your area, but at the same time, I feel like that's also cheating. I don't know. It would make it so much safer, though. There we go. Okay. So we have our new area. We have 34 torches. Not nearly enough for this entire area. We can at least put some on the corners for now. And then start doing, I don't know, like a 5x5 five five pattern or something in this area. We're also going to knock all this down. So let's start breaking it all. I don't think I'm going to knock it all down just yet. Just knocking the berries down for now. So I can start putting the torches up and stuff like that. Put the torches on the corners. Like so. And like so. Like so. And like so. And then like right here. Yeah. And then from here we can just kind of one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So this is what we're going to spend some time doing now. This is going to be so invigorating. I love making great content for you guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. All of the lights. There. Now I just have to keep that trend the entire way down, and I definitely don't have enough torches for that. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough torches for this just yet. Hopefully these are all in line with the other ones. I don't know. Kind of? Yeah, sure. There's a tree here. There. We have most of that area lit up. Which means we can kind of take these down and collect these torches anyway. And then we're going to start laying out where the villager huts are going to go. It's going to be a great time. I promise. And we have four torches back, kind of. Hopefully nothing spawns in our area. This area is going to be very hard to manage until I get stuff built here. Yeah, this area is going to be pretty hard to manage until stuff gets built there. So until then, we're going to ghost out and go to bed. Because I don't want to stay up all night. Ow. We go to sleep. My guy like slid into his bed right there. And I'm going to take another drink. Mmm. Delicious pickle juice. Let us continue. All right, so now the real thing is most of our field is good now. Looks like nothing really spawned in our area. Pretty good for us. Wait, that's just walls. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything in this area, which is pretty good. Um, 
it's time for us to harvest, kind of, I guess. It's about that time, so we're going to harvest our wheat, breed the animals, and then the shenanigans begins of maybe getting another bookshelf or two. Uh, it's so satisfying. So very satisfying. See, I need a villager because he'll auto plant the seeds whenever they're around him. I need to get a farmer pretty badly over here, but I don't know where I would put him. Like, would I just trap him in a field forever? Would that be his eternal damnation? I don't know yet. Am I going to be a kind god, or am I going to be a cruel and unusual one? Things have yet to be determined. Oh, so much wheat. I love it. Wheat is not an issue in this game anymore. Not for us. Neither are potatoes, I just never harvest mine. I don't know why I don't harvest potatoes. What I really need are carrots. I really need some carrots, because then I can start making golden carrots, and then you can just pretty much become a god. But for now... Wheat it is. Nature's golden grain. And now we breed... How many cows do I have? I only have four. It's not exactly an ideal amount just yet. Yeah, they made me two babies. Yep, two babies. You make babies. And you make the babies. And you make the babies. Little gray one, and a little white one, and some little dark sheeps. Yeah. We're gonna move this. I don't like it just sitting on top of that. I don't know what I was thinking. Put it, like, right here on this side. Did I just hear a ghast? Oh, please, no. I thought I heard a ghast again. Please, no. Not in the overworld. How? What am I hearing? Oh, that's an enderman. Oh, I was so confused for a second. There's an enderman around me just doing his thing, and it scared the heck out of me. Definitely don't want to fight an enderman. That'd be bad. I'd probably die. Um, do I have... It? Yeah, I've got some more seeds over here. So we're just gonna finish this up. Finish harvesting, then we'll probably spend the last day in the mines, because... It's getting pretty, uh... Need some resources. Definitely need some more resources. And then we can start planning stuff out next episode for our new area in our village. So we're gonna go down to the mine. Ow. After we put some of our stuffs up. I wanna go down there with a pretty much empty inventory, so we're gonna make a bunch of bread. Bread. Let's get that bread. We made 28, so we're going to keep the bread on us. We're going to store, we're going to keep the food. Um, we can store some of this stuff in the other food. We can store the gunpowder, can store these. We're going to need that iron pickaxe. We're going to need that one. We're going to need our axes. We're going to need some sticks. We're going to need some planks. Uh, we can store these over there as well. Potato can be stored over there. Okay. And then over here we just store our potato. And these flowers. And all that. And we'll take the cobblestone with us. We'll leave the gates here. And the walls here, actually. Okay. Let's go into the mine. I'm ready to be hurt again.
It's been a while since we've been to the mine, actually. Haven't been there this entire episode. Curious to see what has infested it with my absence. What creatures, foul creatures, lie beneath the surface? There's coal over there. Would really love to find some more diamonds, too. I need, what, another, like, one, two, is it three for a helmet or four? I can't remember. I really don't know how many I need to get a full set. All I know is that I don't have enough. Not yet. Hmm. Oh, I found diamonds over here last time, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Over in that area somewhere. Oh. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, it's kind of hot down here. I don't suggest it. Okay. Oh. Um. I guess this is a thing. Whatever I do, don't back into the fire. Ooh. Okay. Well, that was... I don't like fighting. Especially not around lava. So I guess we're just gonna kind of hollow the area out around here again. And if I find anything exciting, I'll see y'all then. Hey guys, we're back, and it is still day 44, and we found some more diamonds. It's only four, but it's better than none. And we can finally make a helmet, I think. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love finding diamonds. Ugh. Also, this mine is getting a little windy. I needed to get out of here anyway. So we can finally replace our helmet and our boots. Probably, we have five. I forget how much it takes to make those, though. A helmet takes five. The boots take four. Um... We have five diamonds all together right now, though. So if I were to take those... Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let's see if I can't find some more. So uh, we're on this road. So let's just keep pushing this one. That's the thing about Minecraft, though. Like, you could be mining and you literally only be one block away from finding diamonds and you'll never know it. Literally never know. Oh, silver. Mm. Die. I don't know why I have silver. Oh, why? Did that one kill itself? Why are there silver fish in my mine? That's not supposed to be there. Unless silver fish are just supposed to be close to diamond in general now. That'd be really cool. Kind of like a, hey, you're getting warm kind of thing. That would be actually kind of cool. Because then you would find the silverfish and just dig around them. Instead, I'm just sitting here digging a hole to China. Going in a straight line. Hoping I don't get shot in the back by a skeleton or something. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find... Ooh, there's some iron right in front of me that I almost missed. And some redstone. I'll take redstone and iron. It's not the ideal catch, but it's better than nothing. That's also another thing. You never know if, like, diamonds are, like, one below you or one under you. It's just, like, this is the general, the best height to be at to get diamonds. They could be lower, or they could be higher than me. Those diamonds were hiding in the roof of my mine for since I built the mine until I decided to expand it up one. And what do you know? I expanded it up one and we found some diamonds. There's also some lapis lazuli. Always welcome because we're going to need that whenever we're uh, enchanting stuffs. Oh, I think I went further than the other mine goes, so we'll just throw a torch here for now. Yeah, definitely went past the other mine by a little bit. That's fine. That is okay. We're doing all right. These are also very short, so I mean, expand them by like double. 
And you might find diamonds. Or you might find nothing. Probably gonna find nothing. My luck is to find nothing. Come to think of it, those silverfish were right around where I found diamonds that one time in my mine. And those silverfish were pretty close to the diamonds that I found on the other side. So maybe the silverfish are around diamonds. Maybe that's just a thing now. I can neither confirm nor deny these assumptions, but it would be pretty cool. Then again, I didn't run into any silverfish when I was mining those diamonds. Also, Minecraft. If you could never make the spooky, scary mine noise again, that'd be fantastic. Why is this one only one? Did I only do one instead of two right here? Did I mess up my own mine? Oh, I sure did. It's supposed to be every other one. When did I start doing ones? Oops. Oh well. We'll fix it on the next one. But we're gonna finish expanding this portion out. Throw some torches down. And... It is day 45. So we'll probably go make our helmet. Let us continue the search for diamonds until the end of the day, though. Because I do love me some diamonds. I'm a fiend for them. About the only thing that happened while y'all were gone, though, was um, I got shot by a skeleton in the near the lava. That wasn't very fun. Um, some more iron. Cool, because this pickaxe is about to break anyway. Oh, well, perfect timing for that pickaxe to break. All right, let's go. And I'll just make my helmet upstairs and take all the iron and everything with me. We'll be good as golden. Speaking of golden, I got to get the gold that's smelting over here. Yeah, I was about to say, one of these has all my, like, redstone miscellaneous stuff in it. There we go. And then we can just dump some of this cobble. I've got so Oh, I've got a perfectly good bow and arrow down here. And five arrows. I wonder if I could enchant that and get infinity and unbreaking. Ooh. Where's my gold? Give me that. All right. Let's go. Look at that sun. Look at it. Yep. There's the mine that I boarded up. So pretty outside. Our world is quite lovely. I'm still hearing a uh, Enderman just kind of madly teleporting around and it's kind of frightening. Is that the one that I attacked that one time? Is he coming back to haunt me? Let's put these other torches down in our somewhat secure area over here. Okay, just making sure they were still, like, five apart, whatever my math was. We'll just put that one right there. Yeah, sure. Oh, boy. Cool. Good enough for me. And then I can drop some more cobblestone off to be smelted. We can start replacing all these walls. Ow. Stop it. All right. Well, for one, what happens if I put the bow here? We got unbreaking, power, and power. Not good enough. We're going to put this over here for now. And now we're going to smelt our iron. We have six... I didn't realize how much iron I collected. Didn't realize it was 61. Just collect all that and throw some more of that in there. 
Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's andesite. That's stone. There we go. Okay. Let's grab our diamonds. We have five of them. And we're going to make a diamond helm. As such. And we're going to retire our iron helmet that has saved us from many a skelly boy's headshots. And he shall be remembered right there for an eternity. And then once I get four more, I'll put the boots on. And it will be remembered for an eternity, my original suit of armor from my 100 days playthrough. Somewhat poetic. Do I have any more coal? I've got enough obsidian to go to the nether. I should probably not do that, though. Not yet. I don't want to play this entire playthrough as, like, Scaredy Cat, but at the same time, like, I don't want to go and die for no good reason. I'm not going somewhere if I'm not prepared for it, I guess is the best way to say that. We're gonna smelt that, and... Um, I'll put all my lapis over here, I guess. You have a lot of lapis. And some arrows. And some more iron. There we go. I don't know why I'm missing a thing of redstone. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all the redstone, to be honest. Um, I've got some rotten flesh. Sure, we're going to put that over here. I have a bone. don't know what good that's going to do me. This bread can go over here. Okay. I don't have any wool. Let's make some shears. Oh, wait, I do have shears. Uh, I was about to say. And we're going to use wool to start designing kind of like the outline for these houses and stuff over there for our city, town, area. So we're going to use black wool. Give, gib, gib. Thank you, thank you. So all the black wool is going to be housing. So we'll use this to kind of like lay out the points of housing and everything like that. We're just going to use all kinds of wool, actually. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. So let's see. It doesn't help that these trees are all up in the way. They're going to have to get moved over to that hillside or something so our town can be safe. We're going to have to cut all these trees down so we can start building our town. And then our trees are going to have to get moved away. Far, far away. No more trees. We'll leave these two trees for now. Maybe I'll put a dark oak in like the city center or town center. Alright, so I want a three... I don't have a shovel, do I? Because I am going to do this pathway along all of the edges. So if I were to put a house in the corner, it'd have to be like two... One, two, three. One, two, three. So it'd be like right here, and that would give me one, two, what? No. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Perfect. And then it's a villager, so they don't really need that much space. So you can do like a five by five house, probably for each one of them. At the same time, I feel like that might be too small. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comments, how big should the villager houses be? One, two, three, and then you do another villager house. Like that. And it's getting dark, so we're going to end it here. I'd like to thank y'all for joining me. We are slowly grinding away to what will eventually be our 100-day playthrough. So thank y'all, and we will see you next time. Bye!